Good afternoon. It's Saturday the 9th of February and the Warlord of British Commonwealth Inf Infantry are out uh, today. So uh, I popped over to my favourite shop, the um, Lost Ark ga uh, Games in Stevenage, uh, to pick up uh, a couple of boxes. Um, and uh, just got back, so I thought I'd do a, uh, an unboxing and we can have a look at them together. So, um, here they are, British Commonwealth Infantry in the Western Desert, 30 plastic 28mm figures. And uh, there we get a, an idea of what's in the box with the three different uh, styles of headgear in, in the uh, desert format. So, on the back, uh, enough components to make 30 Commonwealth miniatures uh, with different weapons, the usual stuff that uh, you would expect. Uh, Bren gun, boys anti-tank gun, pistol and a 2 inch mortar, plastic bases. Um, optional Australian, South Africa, New Zealander and LRG stroke SAS heads and there they are. A little bit of in uh, information. Some uh, examples of the sprues and uh, painted figures. And a suggested uh, colour scheme if you're using Vallejo paints. So let's uh, have a look inside and see what we've got. So the first thing, well let's just get the um, the base uh, sprue out of the way and have a look at the uh, instruction leaflet. So as uh, per usual with all uh, Warlord kits, uh, we've got the um, numbered parts, we've got uh, some painted examples and we've got the list of uh, the different parts so the uh, important ones are the, the headgear in this kit which is the Australian slouch hats South African sun helmets New Zealand lemon squeezer and heads for special forces uh, the rest is the standard uh, fare that you would expect uh, with a British set with uh, different uh, uh, arms and uh, firearms And then on the back we've got uh, a little bit more detailed information. Uh, the slouch hats. Uh, the lemon squeezer hats, rarely worn in action apparently. South Africa. The uh, SAS... Uh, I don't know what you call those. Um, the comforter. Um, and woolen hat things. A um, bit of uh, LRDG stuff going on. SAS. And some berries. So there's uh, that's the info. Um, we get uh, a little separate thing for the. Uh, lying down guys so there's four uh, stands for that and uh, this one was packed by Mirella, thank you and we get five sprues um, that are all exactly the same I believe Let's turn them all around the right way That's it. Yeah, there we go. So uh, five sprues, all exactly the same. 
So let's put those to the side and have a look at one of them. So the, the first thing to uh, to realise or to notice is that um, these th this sprue is uh, exactly the same as the Desert Rat uh, British Eighth Army uh, box set. Um, the only difference is the heads. So uh, the bodies, the arms, and the weapons and uh, accoutrements are all exactly the same. So here is um, here is a, uh, an Eighth Army sprue. Here is the uh, Commonwealth Infantry, and you can see that the sprues are identical except for the heads. So let's put the Desert Army set away. Um, it's a bit, a bit of a shame that, there's, that they've um, not gone for new figures. Um, I guess it's uh, to do with uh, production costs and saving money, but it would have been nice perhaps to have a, another set of uh, different figures for a bit of variety, because you can mix and match the uh, 8th Army and the Commonwealth uh, sets. Uh, with the different heads and you'd get a lot more variety but uh, as it is you're only going to get uh, six variations in figure um, so these are the uh, the figures the kneeling down and uh, four standing and then one, one lying um, all in shorts Well, they're they're, uh, they're the nice uh, warlord detail that you you come to expect. Uh, There's infantry box sets um, with a selection of uh, of weapons. So you get the brain gun, um, you get uh, a little two inch mortar, you got some uh, submachine guns, and you've got some rifles. Um, I've started to favour the, uh, the, the 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 weapons with the fixed double arms because uh, they're so much easier to put on rather than uh, putting on the two arms separately and then trying to fit the rifle into the ver uh, various poses that you can have. It's just uh, so much simpler to uh, stick the all three parts on as uh, one unit. So I, I quite like that. Um, slung rifle, rifle at arms, and uh, firing rifle. Then we've got the uh, the anti tank gun, uh, the boys anti tank gun, for the line down figure, and we've got a bit uh, of uh, extra bits and pieces. So um, we come with uh, some sandbags. So you've got three sandbags here, uh, two there. Uh, you can stick your uh, anti tank rifle or stick your mortar guy behind. Uh, some backpacks, some uh, ammo cases, pouches and uh, shovel. I've never seen anybody um, use a shovel or indeed the pickaxe yet in a game but um, you never know. Um, officers uh, head and then we go uh, up to the head. So this is the crucial difference between the two kits. So we've got the uh, the slouch hats the uh, Desert Group SAS type hats, these uh, funny lemon squeezer hats, uh, the tropical pith helmets, and a couple of berries. So, uh, again, some nice facial detail, uh, especially the guy with the beard. I like the uh, these ones with the uh, headgear blown in the wind. So that's uh, that's about it really. Um, as I say, exactly the same as the Eighth Army kit, except for the the headgear. Um, I mean, interestingly, you can make a out of one spree, you can make a complete unit of. Uh, uh, the bush hat, CSAS, uh, the pith helmets, but uh, not with the lemon squeezers. You can only make two. So if you want a, a, 
a unit, you're you're only you're only going to get a maximum of um, uh, ten. But if you wanted uh, like a platoon of them, there you, you'd be stuck. Um, but you could have a platoon of uh, any of the any of the others, or a couple of platoons. Um, but uh, yeah, not a nice enough kit, and um, no doubt something that will go onto the painting pile. Um, I don't know how long it will take me to get around to them. An uh, ever increasing painting pile. But uh, that's the British Commonwealth Infantry from Warlord. Thanks very much for watching.